welcome to another video. My name is Ilse and today I bring you a series review and that is the Daughter and Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor and I am excited to tell you what I thought about this trilogy without spoiling anything. I'm going to try, okay, because I, I'm the type of person that just wants to tell you everything. But I'm gonna just tell you briefly what I thought of the books and I think what I really liked about them, what maybe I disliked uh, a little bit, so yeah, so stick around to see what I thought about all of this. But these are heavy, oh my god. Okay, so the first book is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Eleni Taylor, which is the first book. And I read this with Yessie. Um, I'm gonna link her link down below. And I was really, really happy about this. Because I've been meaning to read this for a long time. But I didn't, I think I didn't pick it up because the third one was gonna come out. And I didn't want to wait for it. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll marathon it. Anyways, the point is, I'm going to tell you what I thought of the first book. I think I already mentioned something in my wrap up. I really enjoyed the first book. I didn't completely fell in love with it, but I really, really enjoyed it and I thought the story had a lot of potential. Karu, our female protagonist, is a really amazing and kick-ass badass heroine and I really enjoyed from, I really enjoyed her from the first page because she was just so, so determined and such an amazing character that throughout the whole book we see that. And I really enjoyed the world building, I enjoyed everything to be completely honest. I really enjoyed the side characters a lot. I, we didn't get to see that until the second book, so hold on, I'm gonna get into that. But I really, really enjoyed the first, the second half of the book. A lot of people that I've seen uh, review this book said that they hated the second part of the book because of the love, the love triangle, well not the triangle, the love interest thing that happens here. I can see why people will be bothered by that. I can see why, but to be completely honest, I think there's more to it, I, and that like, is explained in the other books, just a little bit. I guess I could justify it by the fact that, well, it's not a spoiler, but uh, I could justify it by the fact that she didn't know until, you know, that scene. And yeah, I mean, I guess I could justify it just by saying that, but really, uh, other than that, I really wanted to keep the series on the try and I really wanted to read the next because I already bought the, the books so yeah <laughs> I am bad at reviewing books oh my god so yeah I gave this a 4.5 on my good reads but <laughs> uh, other than this I kept on going with the series so now I'm gonna tell you what I thought about the second book so the second book of the trilogy is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor and this my lord this my lord. So it took me a while to get into this book because there's a lot of stuff happening. A lot. But to tell you the truth, I was really enjoying every single thing that was happening. Uh, another thing that I forgot to tell in the, well, the first book is that the writing is beautifully done. It's magnificent. The world building is just awesome. And in this book we get to see it like played out for us. We get to see a lot of what is happening in the war, in this world between angels and demons and I just I really really enjoyed it I loved every single page in this book and this one I gave a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads there's a lot more world building more character development character development in Karu and Akiva who is the love interest I guess you could say and the rest of the characters we get a lot of points of view in this book we get points of view of the side characters and those were the, the comic relief that we needed because it was it's such a heavy book and so much like out of this world terminology i guess you could say but nonetheless i really really enjoyed it i i was so happy to be continuing with the series that i finished this and went straight to the third one so yeah that's my review for this one so and then i read dreams of gods and monsters which is the third one and final and this book I didn't quite love it as a second one but it was a good finale well I didn't really like the finale but nonetheless I really enjoyed everything again we see a lot of perspectives here from the side characters we see a more world building the world in in this books are just so complex and just I don't know how Lainey Taylor did it to be completely honest I just there's just so much happening so much development in this world so much I don't know it's just I'm finding it hard to describe the world because the world is just so fascinating and interesting that that's really what catches you or reels you in this books 
and you can't help but at least be curious of what happens to the characters and I, there's one specific chapter that I was reading in the morning that I had to stop myself because that's when everything just went crazy and it was just amazing. I gave this a four out of five stars of reads. I it this doesn't mean that I didn't like it. I just that I had a few issues with the ending and a few character things that I just had an issue with. But nonetheless, it was a really good finale of the series. I really enjoyed every single character. Every well, there's one character that I hate, but. I think everyone hates that character. But anyways, it was, it's just amazing. The world, the writing, everything of these books is just amazing. So if you have not picked up any of these books, you should. Mainly because I think the world is fascinating and I really highly recommend the series. I think it's worth reading the rest, even if you didn't really dislike the first book, but I think it gets better. I think the other plot lines are worth more than the love plot line to be completely honest even though I didn't completely fell in love with the two characters I mean yes I really love them but there's just more to the story to be completely honest and yeah that's what I think I guess now that my horrible review is over um thank you for watching and remember I have Twitter Goodreads I have a Tumblr and I don't know what else, I have Instagram. Oh yeah, I have an Instagram. So check those out, I'm gonna link the links down below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. I am so bad at book reviews without spoilers. Oh my God, I am so sorry guys. So, so, so sorry, so sorry. But nonetheless, a good series. Go read it, go read it, go read it.